Hi everyone, so this is the last example for the second pack of the courses. And if you look, it's two pages, which makes me think it's a big one, a big one. So let's give it a go. So two particles, P and Q of masses 5 and 10 respectively, connected by a light and extensible string which passes over a small smooth pulley, which is fixed at the top of a rough inclined plane. P rests on the plane, Q hangs on the end. Uh, planes inclined at alpha, where tan alpha is 0.75. So remember that idea. So tan alpha is 3 over 4. So I can make a triangle for it. I'm just going to pause and draw it, because it will just in case there isn't that much time. So I've drawn most of it. You might want to pause it and just draw it, unless you've done it yourself. All right, so let's have a look at that tan alpha bit there. So tan alpha was 3 over 4. So that's the opposite and the adjacent. So is that a 3, 4, 5 triangle then? So that tells me then that sine alpha is 3 fifths and cos alpha is 4 fifths. So the 5g cos alpha is 5g times by 4 over 5, which is just going to give me 4g. The 5g sine alpha will be 5g times 3 over 5, so that's just going to give me a 3g. So, I'm going to work it out. Right. Let's have a look at this then. So what do I want to do? Find the acceleration. So same idea. Let's find out what f max is first. So if I look at the... So is that p? That one's p, isn't it? And that one's q. So for p, if I look perpendicular, it's in equilibrium because it's not bouncy. So the force going up is r. The force going down is the 5g cos alpha, which has become 4g. So r is 4g, and if I do f max, what's my mu? Not 0.2. So f max is 0.2 times by 4g, so it's 0.8g. So I've got my f max now, haven't I? Right, so now let's just set up the equations. Here. So for P, if I look parallel, using F equals MA, I've got the force in the direction of travel minus the force opposing it is a mass times acceleration. So the force in the direction of travel is T. The force opposing it, now there's two of them, there's F max, which is 0.8G, and there's also the 5G sine alpha, which has become 3G. And that's equal to a mass of 5 times by acceleration. So same idea, let's set it up um, as... Hang on. As... T minus 5A is equal to 3.8G. Right, well, let's have a look at Q, uh, a Q for Q now. So F equals MA. So force in the direction of travel minus force opposing it is mass times acceleration. So this tension, so I've got my 10G pulling down minus my tension is 10A. So I've got T plus 10A is equal to 10 lots of g. Right, so if I solve it simultaneously, I should get a tension of 57 newtons to 2 something, and an acceleration of 4.8 newtons per second squared to 2 something. Hopefully that works. If it doesn't, I mean, they seem to do a lot more work on it. I seem to just zipped it off in two equations, or three equations now. Right, so that is, uh, so found the acceleration and tension, and now I see like this force exerted on the pulley. Does my head in. So if you might look at the pulley, it's that idea we're chucking a scarf around your head and pulling it towards you. So let's have a thing about the pulley. So I've got, for the pulley, I've got the force exerted in the direction of travel, parallel to the slope, and then I've got a force pulling down. Oops, got that right. So that's at an angle alpha 2. Right, now then, how are we doing this? 
So the idea is for this is to take one of them. So let's take the T. So the T is going to go that way. So that's your first tension. That's at an angle alpha. And then I've got the other one, which I'm going to add on to the end of it. So, so I'm going to put there. So my resultant force that I want will be this one coming down here. Maybe I need to move that little T from there to there so you can see it. So my resultant force I want going that way. So using my Z angles, that angle there, because that would have been a Z, an alpha, that there is 90 plus alpha. Now, I know that tan alpha is 0.75, so I know that alpha is roughly 36.9 degrees. So that angle there is 30, no, it's 126.9, sorry. So 126.9 degrees. And I've got the cosine rule here. So if I call that R, so I've got R squared is, so it's my tension squared, and my tension was 50 seconds. 57 squared plus, plus 57 squared minus 2 times 57 times 57 cos of 126.9. So R squared comes out as 103.96.8 newtons and R is roughly 102 newtons. So that's the resultant force of you chucking, the idea of chucking a scarf around your neck and pulling you towards it. Proper randomness, it's never ever been on a paper that I've seen, but it doesn't mean that it won't come on. And it's that thing of, if the one year you don't teach it, it's the year it comes on. So first bit, dead straightforward, dead obvious. The last bit is how I'm thinking about resolving this. So I could have done it with either one first, it doesn't matter, but I'm making a forced triangle and solving it using the cosine rule. I hope that's okay. It's that last little bit that you're looking at. And then I've just got loads of consolidation questions. Well done, everybody. Bye-bye.